Okay, this video is about say you got a new MacBook and you got a another MacBook that's dead and how do you transfer all the data into a new one? So it's a straightforward process. So if your MacBook is not working, like in this case, it's not working, uh, we're going to pull the hard drive out and I'll show you how you can use Migration Assistant on your new computer to transfer everything over. So first what you want to do is pop the back out Now yours will have a, most likely a traditional hard drive like this, but this has a SSD, doesn't matter, so just so long as, oh by the way, you want to make sure the computer is off, uh, when I mean off, make sure the battery is disconnected, just yank that cable out, depending on your model, it might be a different location, but do disconnect the power, in case you touch the motherboard, or something. Maybe it's a working MacBook. You still want to preserve it. Okay, so that's taken out. You don't need to remove these side screws. We'll put this one away. I am tight on space, so I need to move things around. So in this case, this hard drive, you'll need an adapter to something similar to like this. Basically USB to SATA, or if you have a long slim SSD, you'll need the M.2 2280, or the compatible one for your MacBook. So simply plug this in, it makes it a USB uh, connection. So on your new MacBook, um, by the way, this MacBook we cannot connect this because we don't have an adapter. We'll need to get an adapter first. So this MacBook here, we're going to use a uh, Type-C to a USB adapter. Look at this. The life of a MacBook user is just carrying dongles around. In this, in this, you know, we're entering 21st century and we're dealing with dongles far out. Okay, that's plugged in. Okay. And so on your MacBook, the initial setup wizard. If you've already done the setup, you need to launch Migration Assistant. So in this case, I haven't launched yet. This is a new setup of a MacBook. And let's go with the process. Do the initial setup. Here we go, this is the critical part. This is the migration assistant. So you choose from a Mac or a startup disk. 
continue and it should pick up the hard drive great and you just follow the prompts As you can see, it picked up all the user's information, and I just say continue, and gonna set just temporary password of A. Actually, this user, I'm gonna set their original password. The reason why you wanna set the original password is because of something called Keychain. Keychain encrypts your user saved passwords, and it's important to have the same password. Um, And that way you won't have an issue with popping up of a um, keychain. <coughs> keychain um, pop-ups. Some of you may have experienced. Now the other two, I don't know what their passwords are, so I'm just going to create temporary password. Just password. continue and make sure your charger is connected and let this stay on thank you for watching thanks for watching please subscribe to support this channel